Hey everybody, welcome back. We're gonna be doing some more fantasy creature drawing today. Today we're gonna to do some mixed fantasy creatures, okay? This is when you take maybe two animals, right? And you take aspects of one and another one and you mix them together to create your own unique animal. Now really, you can do as many animals as you want. It's kind of up to you and whatever you decide looks good and unique and original. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at some examples and we'll get to our drawing. All right, let's first look at these uh, more classic creatures, right? So here we've got a unicorn. And you've even got this illustration which shows kind of mixing right a horse, obviously, with, um, a, with a horn. And it really looks like a narwhal horn. Okay, here's another one very similar, right? Uh, classical Greek mythology. You've got uh, the Pegasus, obviously mixing a horse with a bird. And they've been around for forever, Pegasuses. You've also got chimeras from that era. Um, mixing uh, three animals together and it also has wings right and I've seen the animals kind of change here and there over depending on what it is a griffin mixing a um, bird with a lion uh, I think that's it right yeah a bird with a lion also kind of a more classic mixed creature now this one's been around for forever right dragons okay um, dragons I used to think of more as like exaggerations because they're like, you know, reptiles or lizards and they're, you know, huge, but they, both, a lot of them, you know, they have the wings, right? Mo most dragons have wings and that would definitely look like bat wings. So definitely mixing a lizard with a bat and then obviously sizing it up. Now, Chinese dragons are a little bit different, different looking, right? Um, not really so much in the winged category, right? More like serpents, right? Kind of long serpents, but they a lot of times have uh, claws and whatever, kind of like a lizard. So I may be mixing like a serpent with a lizard, which they are, they're both reptiles anyways, but they kind of have their own little flavor to them, don't they? Okay, so here are some more non-classic mixes, right? So um, you've got this thing, which kind of looks like a, I forgot what it's from. I don't know if I got this from concept. I can't remember what concept art it's from. But it looks like kind of like an eel looking face, right? Mixed with some sort of large cat and kind of really looks cool. It has this really menacing looking face kind of thing. At least that's what it reminds me of. Okay, gorilla and ram. You can see, I mean, it's pretty obvious uh, mixtures, but still look pretty good, you know? Um, here's some that are, you know, kind of cute little ones. A little frog and hummingbird, hummingbird and a cat. Here's a crab and a spider. Uh, already very close kind of in what you know with their legs and kind of the way they are but but you know you get really get something different when you really mix them together giraffe and an elephant kind of interesting so it's got a mane like a lion and a giraffe kind of pattern but also has a elephant looking face and tusks and snout All right here's a bull and kind of bat wings kind of like a bull reptile interesting and this one's from Fantastic Beasts from some of the art in there and they got some really interesting creatures there and you, we've obviously got some sort of owl kind of mixed with some sort of dog or a rodent or something very cute and then you have this one uh, which you've got a butterfly but also kind of feels like a bat or something what is that skull I guess it looks like a cat skull and I look at the skull um, and the carpus looks more like some sort of um, insect kind of thing when it's all rolled up, I guess, but it's kind of a lot of mixtures there. So there's really no limit on how many animals you can mix together. Um, it's really about what you can come up with that looks good and something that comes out looking unique. All right, uh, let's get to drawing our own mixture. And we're gonna do a gorilla and octopus, okay? So kind of odd pairings, but I think we can get something really cool and uh, unique with this sort of thing. It actually I think it's going to give it some kind of Cthulhu kind of looking vibe. All right, let's get to it and let's start breaking down the shapes. Starting with the uh, body and head. All right, got its backside over here. Its chest over here. And here would be the line of symmetry somewhat that got a three quarters kind of angle going all right let's see what happens here let's stick this <clears throat> octopus head 
bulbous I don't even know how to end this here tentacles yeah it's gonna go to Ulu all right let's see it just always looks so mean and mad What does a happy octopus look like? Right. Except those frowning. Oops, wrong number two. And here's his eye. We have tentacles coming down. Oh man, I guess so. I guess I'm just going to Thulu. Oh well. Because Thulu is scary. Let me try and see what happens when I get his big gorilla arms on here. shoulder here, I think. Ooh, a lot of things going on here. It's going to go up there. Can't see the gorilla's hands. I assume he's got some like big old fists going. Let's make these huge. Make mine looks angry enough. I Just trying to clarify the shapes of the tentacles here. Looks a little bit got kind of messy. Okay, I got to get that ear, whatever that is. I think that's where they breathe out of. Is there a breathing hole? This little uh, tube on the side of the head. We should add more tubes. He should have a bunch of like tubes kind of sticking out by his shoulders. Got some little tubes too. So 
guess he's not hairy. Maybe more like octopus skin? Web skin? Can I do the web thing? Maybe I can do the web thing back here. On this back web. Get a little more bizarre. Arms here, let's see. All right, hmm. Arms, okay, I gotta figure this thing out here. And I'll give him some, let's see, some, like three fingers or something, like massive knuckles. Kind of hoof, hoofy kind of foot. I don't know why. Why not? All right. Just give him a dead black eye. Just forgot to shine. Uh, I should always need to shine. All right, so let me try to start on the left side more so. That way I do not smear my picture like I think I tend to do. Oh my gosh, I break my pencil all the time. So I'm just trying to add like a bunch of wrinkles around these uh, TV things and, and we can just add as many as we want. Get smaller as I go down here. Add a little sagginess to the skin. All right, and I kind of have to decide where my shadow side is going to be. Obviously, we're drawing this thing, mixing two animals, so I don't have a clear thing to follow. I guess I'll make the left side. More of my shadow side here. Okay, let's kind of go up here.
Okay, so I'm trying to get a clear kind of picture of when they're flipping over so I can add the uh, suckers here. Just trying to add a uh, saggy kind of skin texture wherever I can. All right, so this arm is gonna be a lot in shadow back here. It's gonna be mostly in shadow. All right, lots of detail here. Ooh, yeah, full speed, this is taking a little while, but that's okay. All right, let's see, a little like these bump textures going. Um, as they get towards the rounder part, or the uh, edge of the round, how do I say that? The edge, as it, get, as it, round, as it rounds out, um, usually you'll see uh, it get darker or more detail. So, um, and then it, over here it kind of looks like if, like if you do more deep bumps here, and then you kind of less and less and smaller, smaller. Kind of looks like um, 
like the surface gets just a little more, uh, you know, um, I, I can't tell, I can't say, I don't understand how it looks like an edge and uh, you see more surface detail, I guess. And then as they get here, it kind of flattens out a little bit more because they're facing towards us, these little bumps, so you won't see them as much uh, is the best way I can explain it. Like that much more, but oh well. All right, if my rhino guy was named Fluffy, this guy needs a name. Feeling. Bert. I'm just doing those circles in the wrong way. I don't need to be ellipsis like that. There we go. And then get wider. Okay. That's better. That is better for Bert. I'm just following kind of human anatomy here with these arms. Obviously, way huger. Here's a tricep, elbow, massive forearm muscle, and then uh, brachials coming down to the fingers. Here's a bone. Bicep over there. Assuming gorillas have the same basic thing going on. Shadow on this side of the arm muscles, and the shoulder. I'm trying to leave a little bit of a reflected light there just so we can see the arm. And some bumps there would be good. Some 
broken edge here to this well. We're getting there. Okay, we should draw some massive knuckles here. Some little uh, like uh, bumps in the arm there, just, just so it looks like it has that same texture still. Whew, it's gonna take it a while. Look at the clock. It's all right. He's a full day, full day of work. I think this guy, Bert, deserves it. imagining kind of like where muscles would be basing it off gosh human anatomy mostly and then just kind of tweaking things here Right, right. Almost done, Bert. We got you. Okay, so that is, but it's there. Giving them like hoof things, kind of like the last creature, I don't know. <sighs> when hoofs, it's gotta have like fingery things. Maybe more like fingers, nails, there we go. Where's your other leg? Lighter shade of gray, one of the 50 shades, the lighter shade of gray here, to um, give him some depth. I don't want to totally um, uh, mess with the shade of gray in the front here. Further away black is going to be less um, just just to communicate or just to like, you know, the tendency to look more gray, right? So the closer it is, darker it is, right? Like, and then as you get further away from us, things that would be black close up are different cut, like gray or whatever. But even like when you look at mountains, they're like, you know, far away, they get like purple and blue and stuff like that. Like the dark just turns to other colors. Um, I need a few texture lines right here, I think. And I think Bert is good to go and terrorize the neighborhood. Oh. 
Okay, Bert looks good to go. I like him. He looks monstrous and unique. Hope to see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed it and have a good looking Bert of your own.